Good morning, folks. It's another beautiful day today. Um, the car, Sandy's car got hauled away at 8.30 this morning. I had to wait for the tow operator to show up to give him the key to the car. She has to send the title in. And uh, so that's not in the driveway leaking anymore, but there is plastic parts out there I have to sweep up. I wanted to talk about a few things in this video based on my experience that I really honestly don't know the true cause. I can only speculate as an observer and compare it to previous times and just try to come up with my own conclusion as far as what I think the cause is. But there is definitely, definitely a difference without a doubt. And it's something that I've not only been able to prove in my videos, but I could continue to prove in my videos. And I'm going to explain how. Quickly, I also wanted to mention that uh, KC sent me the free stickers, like I told you, because I tell you guys the truth. And there's the free t-shirt just arrived today, but they did throw in the switch. There's the switch from KC but there's no point in swapping the switch out. Now I have one. So there's the update on that. What I wanted to talk about in this video, because there is definitely something going on that people don't notice, or if they do notice, they don't talk about it. And I'm somebody that can talk about anything. And I surely will talk about this because it's such a drastic contrast to how it used to be. Now, you guys, if you watched my videos, you see when I go places, do you ever see anybody else around? I've been to multiple trailheads, even when I've gone over to uh, Mount Pleasant, and I've gone to that tra trailhead where on the back of the sign it says, beware of the beast. Anytime I've gone there and I've gone to those two lakes, there's nobody around. There's no hikers. There's no cars in the parking lot. Same thing down at South Valley. I've been down there multiple times, never run across anybody there. I go to Pineapple Junction and there's nobody there. I've gone to parks like the one with the overlook where it had the pavilions and the drinking fountain and there's nobody there on a beautiful sunny afternoon on a weekend, no less. And all these places that I've gone to, my van is the only vehicle on location, and I am there all alone. It doesn't end just there. Um, let me say that there is an area that I've gone to all my life. It's where I started camping when I was five years old. There are four campsites at this location, and all four are within 500 feet of each other. And all four are on a trout stream, a rushing, beautiful, scenic stream. And I've done videos at these locations. And back in the day, and I say back in the day, I'm only talking like 25 years ago. It was difficult to get any of those four campsites because it's state owned land and it's free camping. And by law, you can stay there for seven days and seven nights before you have to move on and go to a different campsite. So you can stay there for a week for free. And every time you drive by those campsites, they were always packed with people with fires going. You'd see the smoke going up through the woods and you could smell the food they were cooking and they had tents set up and there was vehicles around. Sometimes you'd hear somebody playing music. There was always somebody in there camping all the time. Now, every time I go by, there's nobody ever there. In the last umpteen years, I have not seen one person, not one, camping there. Even since I started my YouTube channel back 13 years ago, 13, 14 years ago. Back in the day, there used to be people camping all over the place, people hiking all over the place, people boating, people fishing. When I would go trout fishing, I always ran across other fishermen. I told you guys about the, the case where I ran across the old man asking for a fish hook. And it was a mystery because he disappeared seconds later. But on that stream, 
there was other fishermen spread out. There was always trout fishermen. Every single time that I went trout fishing, I always ran across another angler of all ages. And 99% of the time, it was men. Rarely did I ever see a woman trout fishing, but it was men. And they were usually older men, my age or older. Now, I could go, honest to God, you guys, to any bridge and pull over and fish any stream anywhere. And I will never see another fisherman. I never run across another fisherman. Even if I'm not fishing and I'm just on my way going somewhere and I cross a bridge where there's public access and it's a fishing area and they've got like a little parking lot there where anglers can park, they're empty. Nobody's fishing. And there is definitely something causing this, you guys, that people just don't get out and do things anymore. I can't speak for your area because I don't know your area. I can only speak for my own, but I can tell you guys living here for 50 years, I have never seen everything just deserted. And here is the strangest thing of all lived here for 14 years okay out here on the road i live on i drive the same roads um anytime i go anywhere all the time the same exact roads here is what is strange to me and this is the god's honest truth and i'm gonna i'm gonna set up cameras on top of my van to prove this i'm gonna have one these cameras are going to look straight off the side of my van, one on the passenger side. So as I'm driving down the road, you can see what I'm passing and I'll go slow enough so you can see, and I'll have one on the driver's side so you can see everything off the driver's side. In all the years that I've lived here, I have never seen the owners of all these properties outside. The people that own these homes and these properties are never seen. I've never seen them. And I've driven these roads, you guys, for years, day and night, all times of the day, early in the morning, early in the afternoon, late in the afternoon, in the evening, late evening, at nighttime. I have never, ever seen the people that own these properties outside. A lot of them have fire pits. A lot of them have picnic tables in their yard. A lot of them have blacktop driveways with, with double bay garages. You never see the doors up. You never see a guy wrenching on a car. You never see anybody grilling out in their yard ever, ever. And it's no different here where I live. I got neighbors that live just feet away from me. And I don't know their name and I've never met them and I've never spoke to them because they're never around to talk to. They come home, they check their mail, they pull in their driveway, they go in their house and they're not seen again until tomorrow. They don't do anything. I'm outside all the time, mowing my lawn, cooking out, walking the dog, outside playing with the cats, doing YouTube videos, cleaning my van. I'm out in the shed doing work, whatever, or I'm doing landscaping or I'm pruning plants and taking stuff and debris with my wheelbarrow out to the woods. I am outside all the freaking time. Everybody that lives around here sees me. I'm a very visible person because I live a normal life, I think. But what the hell is wrong with people that they just go into their homes and they never come out except to go to work or to the store and they spend all their time indoors i firmly believe and this is only my belief nobody has to agree with this no one has to agree with me ever over anything i say but i am a firm believer that the internet and social media has done something psychologically to people. I believe this. I believe the addiction to apps and things on people's phones. 
are a mental illness when the addiction is so great that you can't set your phone down and have a normal life. You can't leave it behind. You take it with you everywhere that you go and you spend all your waking time on it. That is a mental illness. Is that what these people are doing? And that's why they're never seen outside because they're so captivated by what's going on in the world and being in touch with those they know. Is that what's going on? Because if not, then you tell me why when years ago, you would always see people outside all the time. You would see people having a fire and cooking out and picnics. You would see people with tents set up in their yard, like where they were having like a family reunion. You would, you would see people socializing and, and people outside. You'd see a husband and wife sitting on their porch while their kids are all playing underneath an apple tree. You'd see normal activity. But you guys see it in my videos. Everywhere I go, it's crickets. There's nobody around. It never used to be like that. Before the internet, everybody was outside camping and doing outdoor activities, fishing, um, boating, you name it. Anything that you can do outside, use your imagination. That's, that's what was going on. It was people everywhere doing all kinds of things. You used to see kids playing in the street used to see kids playing all the time. Now you don't even see kids. And I know damn well it's video games that are doing it. I'm sure of it. Because what kid would want to just sit in the house all day long otherwise? It's got to be that, which is another addiction, which is rotting their brains like a, like a bad apple. Nothing good comes from that shit. It's just, it's unreal to me. And I've been following along on Peter's channel. Um, I'll leave a link to it where this guy is a world traveler. Maybe you've watched his, his channel. Super great YouTuber. This guy covers so many fascinating things, but this guy goes into other lives. He goes into the Jewish community. He'll go into the Italian community. He'll go into the Chinese community, like little China in New York. He will now he's doing a series. He's already done four videos out of seven. And his most recent series is where he goes into the world of the Amish and how they live and their beliefs and why they do what they do. And it's fascinating. I'm surrounded by Amish where I live. And when you watch that, you guys, their lives are so wholesome, complete, and, and they're so happy. And that's why they don't want to live like the Englishmen, like the rest of us. They say our world corrupts and nothing good comes from it. And I believe that because in their community, the husband and wives stay together. The kids are all playing in the yard. They do not let their kids go to public schools. They, they raise and teach their own kids through their own schools that they built that are funded by the Amish community. Every year they put in a certain amount into a pot. And then when a new school has to be built, that's how it's funded. They do the same way with their health care. They all come together to pay off each other's bills. They got a damn good system going and these people base their lives on the Bible and, and they follow the Bible and, and they, they shut out all the things that are corruptible. They don't pay attention to the government. They don't care who's president. They don't believe in going to war, and, but they've got a system going to where it works and it works a hell of a lot better than ours. You may disagree with that or agree with it, whatever, but it works. And they seem so much laid back and happy and they live a beautiful life. Their homes are gorgeous. Their yards are just spotless. Their landscaping is breathtaking. I mean, if you watch Peter's videos, these last four that he uploaded on the series of the Amish, well, you'll see for yourself, you'll see for yourself. And in the end, it's going to make you wish you had their life. There is something wrong with our culture today. You guys, it's, it's rotted. It's dying and, and, it, and it's gone to hell. It's gone to hell because you look at how people are living today and, and, and the reason why these, these younger generations have so many problems is because they spend so much time on Instagram and then they compare other people's lives to their own, which, which just makes them more depressed, gives them more insecurities, you know, 
they claim that Instagram, they've done a study on it. This is according to what I heard on the internet, that Instagram is destroying young girls, young women. It's, it's wrecking their lives. And there again, it's owned by uh, Facebook, which doesn't surprise me. Another shit site. But you know, you guys, I don't know anybody, not one person, and this is the honest God's truth. There's not one person that could go where I go, have no signal on their phone, and be there for 48 hours without going out of their freaking mind. When I turn on my phone and I see I have no signal, I turn it off. I throw it back in the van. I get a fire going, make some coffee, and I enjoy myself. I could care less if I have a signal. I could care less. I got two legs. I could walk if I had to go and find someone with a phone to call AAA if I needed to. I don't, I don't need the social media to check in all the time. Like when I go camping and I have no signal, I don't, I don't ever try to go on YouTube on my phone to see what the comments are coming in on my last video since I left home. I don't care. I'll find out when I get home. It's not all that important to me. But there is something wrong when I have lived here all these years and when I drive these roads day and night and I've yet to see the owners. And like I said, I can prove it because like I can prove it when I go to trailheads and campgrounds and you guys see what it looks like. It's no different than all these properties around here. These homes just sit and you never see any human activity. No life. It makes me wonder if anybody actually really lives in these homes. I can set up cameras and drive slow enough, or I could even slow the footage down in slow motion. And you guys will see as I pass by all these properties in these homes, you won't see a human anywhere. Not even a dog tied out. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That to me is disturbing. That's not normal. And I am talking house after house after house, not just like two out of 10. I am talking every single house that I pass. And then I turn and go down another road to get over to another road that I need to, to go into town. House after house after house. Nobody outside. Nobody doing nothing. Not even anybody even working on their house. I never see anybody mowing their lawn. Ever. Not ever. I have no idea who these people that live out here in the country look like. No idea. I don't know if they're old, if they're young. But it's, it's sad to think that it's come to that. And that's why everywhere I go, there's nobody around. I mean, even when I drive, you guys, how often do you, how many times do you ever see vehicles passing me when you're looking out the window and you're seeing all the woods and the trees going by? And I'm, these, these are paved, normal county roads. So anyway, you tell me what the problem is, because back in the day before the internet, it was never like this, never. So if it was never like that, and then the internet came along and now it is, guess what's the problem? Captain obvious. Guess what's the problem? You guessed it. That is the problem. And it continues to be a problem and it's only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse. It's too bad, but that's why I always go it alone because if somebody didn't have a signal, they'd want to be taken home immediately. I can't be here. I can't get a signal. I need to get on Instagram. I need to check Facebook uh, messenger. I need to do whatever. It's pathetic and it's sad, but the United States of America, it's gone straight to hell. Thanks for watching, you guys, and we'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.